There it happens. You come out to your car in the morning, turn the key, and nothing happens. You're all set to go to work, and it doesn't crank over, and nothing happens at all. We've got several possibilities that could cause a problem like that, but one of the things that might be suspected is a bad starter motor. So we're going to take a look at some of the procedures that would take place in order to determine if the starter motor itself is bad. The first thing we're going to start by doing is making sure that the battery is good. So we're going to perform a load test on this battery by hooking up this volt amp tester to the battery. The hookup is very much like hooking up a set of jumper cables. And then we can see that the battery uh, is 12.5 volts, which is a good thing to start with. And then based on this battery's 300 cold cranking amp rating, we're going to adjust the load knob, which applies a load much like a starter would, up to 300 amps. And we're going to see if it can keep the voltage up. And so we do this for 15 seconds. At the end of the 15 seconds, it is still over 9.6 volts. So this battery should have a sufficient capacity in order to start this vehicle so the battery's not the problem. 